you once you graduate you can still take courses if you want in person or like online like the way you want to take it you can take courses as a student so the learning does not end with graduation hi uh, i am aritra i recently graduated from the tech mba program at nyu stern uh, prior to this i have about four and a half years of experience and prior to that uh, i did my bachelor's and master's at uh, iit madras the good part about one other thing about this one year program is uh, this 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 specific tech mba is a stem degree so it not just it's first it's an mba second like it's it since it's a stem certified degree uh, it gives you the stem opt which helps you work for a total of 36 months in the us so in that terms i think like students should look out for like like some of the mbas now have become stem but you should definitely look out for the stem op before this i my experience was in the like software and technology sector and i i knew i wanted to stay in the same sector but i wanted to switch positions before i was a developer and i was interested in management and pro, like specifically product management and they, this specific program was focused on like people were interested in tech and wanted to land positions in tech so that's how it's different it's a one year course uh the course in terms of the course like load and in terms of like the course is very similar to the two year but it's compressed to one year uh, overall and does not have a specific internship and uh, also like the all the courses are very similar there are also industry projects in it so it's very similar experience to a two years but uh, very focused on tech there are there are courses which are very uh, specifically for data analysis uh then like software agile development etc which are very very related to uh, software and technology so i i started off working in oracle like and I, this was in india and then i moved to the us and i was in oracle for a while i was in the us when i was applying and i wanted to stay in the us personally uh, in terms of uh, like careers in like careers post mba Uh, i found the us market to be very lucrative and it had like prior to covid like a lot of the positions in management were in us i think now there is an interesting scenario where a lot of like there are a lot more uh, management jobs uh, everywhere but when i applied it was i applied only to the us and the specific colleges the general criteria for like the general mba and like i'll specifically for the tech mba there are a few things that they look for i mean one for sure the sop or like similar to sop there is a application question which like which has several components where you specify like why you want to apply etc you uh, the, they look at the resume and this is very specific to mba in the us you do need to have some experience before you apply for an mba uh, and they they definitely look for it's it's good to have i would say 3 or 4 plus years of experience you can apply with lesser than that but it's just good to have more experience because it, it's not just from the point of admission it helps you to appreciate courses and like be able to be more effective while working on group projects because you have more context around work you have seen uh, multiple scenarios at work so they look for work experience they look the, like at they look for a good well rounded resume uh, another thing that they look in general in the us is not just academics they look at extracurricular activities uh, things that you have done outside of like just your academics and career uh, and it's it's a, the the whole process is a lot more holistic so like and the co- component like the like there are different components how they judge every college has different ways to do it but specifically at nyu there is something called the six picks essay so they ask you to like submit six different pictures of yourself and there is no other context you can submit literally whatever you want to and like which represents some part of yourself now you can be as creative as you can in these kind of things but in these kind of things that is specifically seeing how are the person outside of your career outside your work so these are the few things and of course gmat and toefl scores uh, and another specific thing to the tech mba it's not a requirement but it's good to have a background or like some like either you have worked in tech or you have some relation to technology sector because 
one is because you're going into that industry second also it helps you to appreciate so in specifically for the tech mba they look for some some kind of experience it's need not be a developer you could be in sales you could be in support you could be in like whatever like like but some appreciation or some place where you have actually interacted with the software or technology before before you apply for them i applied for the mba in 2019 uh, fall if not not even fall maybe like summer which is like 2019 july and i like i was supposed to start in 2020 but uh, the program itself started in 2021 jan like i mentioned this is a one year program and they moved it because like again this is specific to an like an mba and also one year because a lot of the mba experience has to be in person you you talk to a lot of people like it's a lot about discussions and case cases etc so they moved this they moved it uh, like at that time it was like peak covid so they moved it 6 months so i applied in 2019 uh let's say Ju- like around july august sometime or maybe like september and i started in jan 2021 uh, i just graduated in jan 2022 the general cycle is from may to may for this specific program but uh, for us like just for our specific batch it was moved by 6 months so the course fee and it's approximate it changes every year the course fee is approximately 100000 for the whole one year this includes some other so as a part of the course there is also a trip to the west coast san francisco and seattle and it includes a bunch of other things so uh, but the tuition fee overall is about 100000 i'll be frank like the cost of living in new york as you can imagine is high uh, so it's approximately 50000 dollars of course it can be a little bit less little bit like high based on where you stay and additionally like since it's an mba you end up doing like there are a lot of trips there's a lot of like things networking events which you probably go to so the expenses are on the higher side as compared to other courses like at, like it's beyond academics uh, so i would say budgeting for approximately 150 or a little bit less than 150000 is good specifically for this program uh, of course every program has its different like different fee structure but this is approximately how it is personally did not have a scholarship uh, i i i took a, like a partial i since i was working in the us uh, some of it i paid and the rest i, I took a loan from some, some company in the in the us so uh, th- there are a few scholarships which the university hands out to and like but uh, i personally did not have a scholarship when i joined uh, i paid off like so in, as part of the program i was a teaching assistant for a few courses uh, so that helped me like in terms of paying some of the expenses it also helped me in terms of like learning and getting to know some professors some of the courses but that paid off uh, some part of the tuition generally speaking when you ta for a course you either need to have taken the course and done well in in the course if you choose a course which you're comfortable with it should be good uh, definitely li- like it's a one year mba so there is always going to be work there is always going to be things going on so if you are like a good with prioritization which is one of the things time priorities which is one of the things you learn in mba uh, you, you are good so if you budget time and like like decide like this this is the time i'm going to work and finish like whatever either grading etc so you're good it's just like being a little bit ruthless with time management which helps in it's not just academics it's academics it's ta it's recruiting it's networking so you you just have to be ruthless with time prioritization for everything in order to be uh nyu itself is located in a very very nice place it's located right off washington like it's very close to washington square park uh you can you can look up images so just being located in new york is an amazing thing there is just so many things to do starting from like brooklyn bridge like like times square empire state building there's so much to explore so it's just just being part being able to live in new york itself is an amazing thing as part of uh, nyu Uh, in terms of other like like coming to more like good parts i think like a few things definitely helped me one the classmates were amazing there were classmates from 
different countries different cultures different fields people who have would have never met there are people like 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 from very very different like like sectors from like from where i was in before so i met a bunch of really amazing people and that extended across not just my program like i mentioned the luxury and fashion mba then the full time mba etc i also got access to Uh, some very good professors some, some of the professors of nyu are, are very very famous and you can you can like l- you can search for some of them but like just having access to those professors being able to interact with them uh, ha- having discussions was a very very unique thing also in terms of careers i think uh, just being part of nyu ha- uh, like helped a lot because being at a uh, like premier university gives you access to be able to apply and also like like have a foot uh, into companies which is like which is very unique it gives you kind of an edge over uh, other colleges uh, specific i mean there are some courses which i enjoyed but but i i guess i'll skip over that there are there are amazing courses like and some of them are like, like very famous some of them can also be taken by uh, like alumni who have graduated so that's an that's another good part about nyu once you graduate you can still take courses if you want in person or like online like the way you want to take it you can take courses as a student so the learning does not end with graduation so that's that's an amazing part in terms of the general career paths which people choose after the tech mba there are two or three things which majorly people do of course you can like so in terms of you can apply to any job you you can you can apply to any of them but most most of the graduates choose a uh, product like being a product manager or consultants these are the two things that i've seen most some of them some of them move on to be product marketing managers but the course like i mean in terms of the aspirations of like the students it's mostly product managers and consultants 